Hello everyone and welcome to another NASCAR diecast review. Today's review is going to be on the 2015 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Talladega Win Elite. Uh, this car did not come with a box, but I will explain why it did not come with a box. Because I got this for $125 on with shipping. And normally the ARC of this goes for about that price or up to $160. And the Elite you can't find. And even if you do, they're upwards of $200. And the autographed edition, don't even get me started on those because those are just ridiculous. But this one I got for a steal. But it didn't come with a box or anything. It didn't even come with antennas, but I had antennas, so I just put it in. So, let's get on to the 360 of this car. This is a grail I've wanted to have for a long, long time. I finally found it for a good price, so I finally just pulled the trigger. Because I didn't think I was ever going to find one for that good of a price. And now it's in my collection, and it will probably never leave. DIN number 446 and back to the front now let's get on to the um, engine details uh, see on, on what I do for my uh, hoods is I stick my finger in here and I push the little hitch right there and uh, push it up there's your engine detail this is an Elite, so you have the tethers and the braces. Pretty good engine detail. Under the hood, you have Chevy, Nationwide, Diet Mountain Dew, and Cali Blue Book. One more look at the engine. Close. You get to the window net. This was one of my favorite things about the Elites, and they got rid of them in 2017. I was not happy, because I loved the window net that could go down. Because if you really wanted to, you could glue this, or like, not glue it, but just like, keep it down. And you could look inside and see all the engine details. I love that feature. I don't know why they got rid of it, but whatever. But they were a little bit of an, they were a little bit annoying to get back into the, get back in. But if you fiddle with it, it will go back in. There we go. And it's back in. Okay. Man, this thing looks good. Your roof flaps do open, and they do have tethers, as you can see. There you go. And deck lid. There you go. Fuel cell and everything in there. And you have the bottom of the car. So, sponsors, got Nationwide on the hood, a lot of confetti, got Chevrolet SS, 88, and Hendrick Motorsports, got all your contingencies down here, 88, Dive Mountain Dew, Nationwide, Kelly Blue Book, Nationwide, I love the gray back, the gray matches with the blue very well, I like that, Nationwide, and same thing down this side. Let's get to damage. Uh, basically, you just have a, a lot of confetti, some dirt on the bottom. And I'm getting a cramp in my hand. Probably need to drink more water, but whatever. Got some dirt down there. More dirt down this side. Doesn't want to focus on the white for some reason. pretty clean car it is a talladega win so they're going to be pretty clean it's about the extent of the damage right there and there's that okay let's get on to my thoughts of this car so i have wanted this car for a long long time i just couldn't find it for the right price but scrolling through ebay and this one was a bid and so I was like, ooh, hmm, maybe it won't go up too high, because it was at 95 when I saw it. And I was like, that's a great price for the for the uh, Elite, even if it doesn't have a box. So I was, I was um, keeping an eye on it, and it got to an hour until the bid ended, and it was only at 110. So I was like, hmm, I could have a shot at this one. So 
I did, I, I sniped it at the very end. It was about 10 seconds left. I put in my bid for 120 just to make sure I had plenty of room in case anyone else was doing the same thing. Put it as 120 and I got it. And oh, it felt so good to finally get this in the collection. I love the paint scheme and I love that this was Junior's last Talladega win. I have his four in a row. I need his, um, I need one more. The, um, the, like, the white one, like the concert one. I need that one. That should complete the Talladega collection. Um, yeah, I'm still looking for that one for, for a good price. But, um, yeah. So, would I recommend this car? If you're a Dale Jr. fan, yes. If you're not, no. You don't really need it unless you are a fan of Talladega as a track, but if you're a Dale Jr. fan, highly, highly recommend this car. And uh, it can, it's only going to get more expensive from from here on out. So if you find one for a good price, I would really, really recommend getting one. Um, so yeah, that is um, that is about it for this review. This has been a this has been a review of the. Jalen Hart Jr. 2015 Talladega Win Elite, uh, and thank you for watching.